Hello again, folks. This is Chris in Northwest Province with the Forum for Democrats in a local informal settlement. And when I say local, that's a bit of a stretch. I mean, it was a dusty ride to get here. It took quite a while, <laughs> but uh, I'm surprised this is still part of the municipality all the way out here as far as it is from Zayrus. But uh, we're going to have a little help today because my uh, Setswana, of course, that's the other side of the border here at Swana, but my Setswana is a little rusty, so I'm going to get some help here. And I'll just uh, have her introduce everyone. So uh, tell us who you are and your role in the party and then the nice lady we're meeting with. Thank you, Chris. My name is Lerato Morbanto. I'm the legal personnel. Wait, wait, wait. That name sounds familiar, Morbanto. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm, I'm dealing with the legal department, legal things um, in the party. That's my portfolio within the party. Yes. Okay. And the lady over here is um, Memasa. She's from this village, the locality Ritflay. And she's been staying here for years and years now. Okay. Yes. Well, what we're going to do is you're going to, I'm going to ask her the question and then give her a chance. Uh, I'll say it in English and then you can translate it and then I'll go to her. Okay. Yes, and when yes, she yes. responds, I'll come back to you for the translation. No problem. Otherwise it's musical chairs with the microphone back and forth. But anyway, folks, hang tight. Here we go. All right. So um, if you can have her just introduce herself to us in, 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 in Swana and, um, and tell us how long she's lived here. Okay. Okay. Mama sa ra go tloka gore wi o ri bolelle gore ko ena mang line le sefane le gore o ntse fana se ba ka se sekana ka o bua fela ka setswana o repile eh ya re mosi ya no ha ke sa tlholo ke lebetse nna mosi marta mokhosi eh o ntse fana se ba ka se sekana ka go fana o ka re ha nna ke lebetse go fa re di jara re nna teng ya re nna gore is it 80s or 90s Ah, uh, got a nineties. Yes. Her name is Marta. Uh, she has been staying here way before the nineties. So around the eighties. So she's been staying in this area. So since the nineteen eighties, this informal settlement has existed and we've walked around. I've seen some some outdoor privies that have been put in that looks like they've they've got numbers on them, so it looks like some government did it. Uh, and all I've seen is some uh, some um some water tanks here, but I really haven't seen uh, much of any other development here. There's, there's no street lights. There's no paved roads. There's, there's, there's no shops here other than one little tuck shop. Um, has it been like this the whole time? I think the answer is yes. Is, so I guess the question for her is, has it always been like this? And have people been left to their own? Yes. <laughs> mabading maina a a matlo ya no mpotso ke gore a is khale go ntse jana if khale go ntse jana gona le any a gona le sengwe se se leng gore ke ditlabologo tse di kileng di anna e se le go tloga le nna fa a a a e se be re kere ditlabologo ke gona ela nna ke bonye tone di toilet e tse fela tse ke tone di tlabologo ditlele toilet ga ke tsone nako ma there has there has not been any development in this area. The only thing that they saw is just the toilets. They only saw the toilets um, recently, like last year, as early as last year. From the earliest eighties, it has always been like this. So, what do people do here? I mean, it's kind of in the middle of nowhere. I saw big piles of slate over here. Is there any employment, or did people just find this spot to live because it was a spot they could find? Bato ba di ranka kwa no go tle jang go re tle go nna ka kono re bone kwa ri kwa e go ira gala eng batho ba ba ka kono van ba sha ba bereka eng ba gholo ba bereka eng go na le me bereka ka kwa no na go ntse o bere kwa yo ne kwa ri ye ya no e be tswana ya no ka ga re sala re nna teng mfa eh le simo tle tla go tla go bereka mo kwa ri a e re go re le kwa le ne le le teng mo plasi mo go no kwa ri a ba re ba le kubiwa mo di plasi Letting Hona come up, plus in ye, Pobre Guan Guarmorio. A young year la harante, Macaban to Barcoval, Modiplas in Caharata, Mogar, Fulagillo Qualio, or Rakan Matinka. What she is saying is that from the early 80s, when they settled here, um, there was a quarry mine there where they mined slate. It was fully functional at the time. People were working in the, That's why people moved here initially. Yes, there was it, work. There was work, the quarry. That now um, that uh, owner extended an invitation to say, whomever is being um, thrown out of whatever farm it is, they may come to stay here. So he offered them a place to stay. That's how they came to settle in this area a long time ago. So that's an important part of this whole story here is that this is privately owned land. 
Someone owns it. Mm-hmm. But he extended an invitation. I, I was out of the goodness of his heart. I mean, it seems like, you know, if you own land, you, you wouldn't want people to just occupy it. But <laughs> in a lot of other places around Johannesburg, the, the red ants are always out mm-hmm. removing people from government owned land. They'll mm-hmm. remove them. But uh, so, so the, the landowner let them stay here and no one's done anything for them since. No one has ever made any development here, but however, they've been voting consistently from this area. Hmm. They are voters. So, Ma, you live here in this place, yes? And my question is, when summer comes, it must be very uncomfortable, quite hot. The rain, the sun, uh, the winds, it's bad. So have you always lived in this structure or have you moved in different spots here? She has been staying in this area since inception. And 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 where do you come from originally? She's from a village called Kunotswani. Um, What's that near? Within it, it's far, but it's within this municipality, within Ramuzirimuilwa, the other side of Ramuzirimuilwa. But she came here when there was employment, uh, when the slate factory was going on. Yes. So my question for her is, uh, does she vote? She, I imagine, eligible to vote. Does she vote? Yeah. She always votes here in this area every time when there are elections. May I ask whom she votes for? She doesn't have to answer, but I'm curious. <laughs> Are you happy? She just votes for the sake of voting. When they say voting, she votes. She doesn't understand what. No, fair enough. Fair enough. But that, that's why I asked the question. And that happens for a lot of people because people just know, don't know any different. Mm-hmm. And that's how they vote. Mm-hmm. But the Forum for Democrats is here hoping to make a change in the lives of folks. Yes? Yes. We, we are here to make a change. That's why we are highlighting their plight. We don't agree to the people living in this condition because it's not habitable for human beings. If you can see this house, we will walk about. This is where um, the old lady sleeps. Mm-hmm. So you can imagine that there's no window. There is just uh, spaces. Imagine where she sleeps. We have, we have been in winter. Imagine how this thing becomes cold in the cold winter. Now we are we are approaching. It's spring now. We are approaching the rains. What is going to happen? The rains comes in. Uh, that is adding to her plight of illnesses and everything. So really, the people shouldn't live in uh, conditions like these. Well, speaking of, of of illnesses and and if you need care. Where do you go for medical treatment? Is there somewhere you can go? Can you get medical treatment? Uh, there used to be a mobile clinic that comes here from time to time. It no longer comes. Uh, if you are sick. They have to travel to... Zerast. Oh, aish. No, 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 no. That's too far. That's too far. There are taxis. And the, the mode of taxis that they use, it's a van, bikes, um, van at the back of the van. So by the time you get to Zerust, you're a different color person. You're red from the dust. Yes? Yes, that's that's correct. No, no, yes. Okay. That's correct. That's that's not good. That's not good. So no clinic. So the mobile clinic. When did the mobile clinic stop coming? Does she recall? How ho pole ho re ka mobile clinic ile bo felo o tlile go leleng. Na, a ke go pole o se baka. E ka nna nwa go fitileng. Sa le ro fele ditse nwa go fitileng o ga ke tsore ka di gae. E about early last year that was the time that the mobile clinic ever came. I have a prediction. 
the government will announce elections soon for next year. Mm. The mobile clinics will start two months before elections. Yes. Want to make a bet? Mm. <laughs> Just you saying. See, um, we, we passed there. I think there is uh, sort of a construction for water. That water, they, the people of this village, after engaging them, they went to the municipality responsible for water. That's when um, the projects ca came. So the last time that we were here, something at least happened. Before then, there was nothing. Uh, the means of getting water, it, it was, there are boreholes. Now, uh, the government has been neglecting them. to Letting them fall into disrepair. Yes. And then the people had to pay an amount per household, maybe five or ten rent per household so that they can buy electricity to pump water. Well, that's a question I want to answer, uh, ask. Ma, uh, I see uh, uh, JoJo tanks all over. The JoJo tanks, is that the only way you get water? So you, you don't have piped water, you get it from a JoJo tank? Uh, no, there's no jojo tank. Uh, there's no um, running water except for jojo tanks. This is the only source of water. So, when she, when you need water, she has to fetch it herself, or does someone get it for her? Mm -hmm. Oh, she has um, younger grandchildren yes. that fetches the water with a wheelbarrow from the jojo tank. This isn't a way people should have to live. No, definitely not. It's terrible. So, does she have children? I, she, you mentioned young children, so I assume those are grandchildren. She used to have children, they are all passed away, and she oh, shame. Was, she's only left with one boy, uh -huh. child. Ah, oh, shame. Yes. Where does he work? Where does he work? Where does he Oh, he works in town um, under con construction. He's a constructor, yes. What is it that you would hope would change here? What would you like to see? The first thing, if someone tried to improve life here in Ritfle, what would you like to see first? Matlo. <laughs> Metsi. Metsi, yeah. Okay. And, uh, houses and water. Yeah, no, I know Metsi. I know Metsi. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know Pula, I know Metsi. Yes. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so, so houses, houses. Houses, yes. yes. Okay. Houses. All right, and so. She, men she mentioned houses number one. I heard that. I heard mm. that. The Metsi, because I, I was listening for the Metsi. That came second. <laughs> so that came second. Yes. Well, I, I, I want to thank her for her time. Thank you, Ma Kialebo, for your time. It's very generous of you to share it with me. And um, I, I wish you the best. And I, I hope that things can improve. And, and maybe if um, uh, I'm not being partisan, but maybe if people take a look at the Forum for Democrats, the party that brought me out here to speak to these folks, maybe, maybe something different will change in future with the elections next year. They want water, they want houses, they want a clinic. Clinic, Just, yes. That's basic, basic. Basic things. things. Basic things, nothing extravagant. Not even asking for a, a coal tarred road to mm -hmm. stop the dusty road, but no. anyway. All right, well, um, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you so much. Folks, thanks for listening. Uh, I hope you've learned a little something here about Rifle and about the conditions people live in out here 29 years after the end of the apartheid. Thanks a lot. This is Chris White reporting from Northwest.